It's the Vancouver Canucks Revenge Tour. This is the season where we try to uh, get back uh, to where we were defeated so unceremoniously. Everyone's going to grow. We're going to get slightly better. Ugh, got beat by a bunch of veterans in the Capitals. We're going to do our best to be getting back to the top of that mountain and uh, over the peak this time. And that is the goal here. Not a whole ton of a lot to do in fringe. We got to pick up, you know, a piece or two here and there. Maybe spend some money to get to the cap floor, but that's about it. So before we get started, guys, go ahead, hit that like button for me. We'll defeat the YouTube algorithm together and all that kind of good stuff here. Now, but again, before we get started, we do have a winner to read off from last uh, season's point scoring contest. Just one, no clean sweep, and only one who got two correctly here. And that person is Alex Bemis, who guessed uh, for the team lead, Elias Pedersen. Uh, for the league lead, went for Matthews, but that didn't work out. It was Ajo. <laughs> and the goaltender, Igor Shishirkin. And he was uh, by far and away the best goaltender. Now he's in free agency and demanding like $12 million. <laughs> Rip New York. Absolutely rip New York. So there you go. Congrats to you. Best of luck to everyone in this next season. And uh, I've already gone ahead and uh, offered a coach a contract and offer a scouts. The coach I'm getting is G Getzlaff. I just noticed that. I, I was just going off the stats, and then as I'm signing, I'm like, oh, it's Getzlaff. So hopefully we get Ryan Getzlaff to be our assistant. We get a couple more scouts, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get all A's because there's only one A present. So it's good. we're going to have a couple B's, and that's just is what it is. I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. So not going to bother with scouts anymore after this year anyway. All right. So, yeah, pretty much we're waiting on the big extensions here because, yeah, they the term that they want makes it so the money they want to. Like, this would be okay if it was eight years for Clefbaum. Like, I would probably do that, but I'm not going to. I'm not, I'll, I'm not paying him over, like, a possibly close to nine for what he's brought to the table so far. That's just not happening. Got to try, hope for the reset um, when we get past all the offseason stuff. And hopefully uh, he and Gaucher, I know they're going to get jumps like that. I am I'm kind of worried about that. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I just don't want to sign him to what he's asking for right now. So I'm not going to. That being said, we have 19 mil available. It should be... We actually may not even need to spend money, but we do need, I think, a, at least a depth piece. So, we are technically right above the floor. So, we don't really need anything, but... We'll probably, <clears throat> excuse me, grab a little bit of something. And what that something's going to be, I guess we'll find out right now. I think it's just a depth piece, because we lost Bluger. So, we'll look at the forwards here. Like, there's 12 right there. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot. We almost have to get rid of some stuff. You're going to put Coles and Arnett on that fourth line, but ew, can't really have Tabernacolo there anymore. Interesting. What am I going to do? Hmm. That is kind of interesting here. That, uh, I don't necessarily want to... Well, Horvat's back to 85. You could technically play him fourth line for a year. It's not the greatest strategy of all time. I know that. Not super happy about maybe doing that. But it might kind of be the only way. It depends on how other guys grow. Oh, here's another thing. I may have to send down Arnett. If he doesn't jump, I might develop him. Because he didn't grow at all, and I'm not happy about that. With where he played, so we may have to develop that guy a bit further. I guess we'll see, but yeah, I should spend a little bit of cash there. We should be fun on defense. Yep. Our six and Rathbone. Hopefully we get some jumps there as well. Dumko, Lankinen, Silov, Stokes, we're all good for goaltenders. So really it's just like a depth forward. So, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll find a depth forward. And go in that direction. Alrighty. There's a few here. That's Victor Rask. Meh. DeBrusque, nah. I'd love it for it to be like a center slash winger. That'd be great. 
Well, there's Bluger again. He wants a hell of money, which is hilarious. He's bad for our, our strategies, though, so... I don't know. There's Donato, who's pretty similar. Not as good as face-offs, but... Sunkfist? Sunkfist is pretty solid. Or you grab Kopitar. <laughs> Team already interested in him. He may also fall off weight. Yeah, he's going to fall off more. He's got bottom six now, so... Maybe stay away from that. How about Dan Heinen? Not bad. Fox uh, is actually listed as fourth line. So we kind of want to avoid that if we can. Woken is not bad. I'm going to go with him. We're going with Yanni Quoken in here. Uh, I'll pay him like three mil or something. Just like, just to help us with the cap floor stuff. Just give us a bit more wiggle room. In fact, I'm going to give him like five. Because at this point, I don't know if I'm going to have to sell a piece at some point in this season. So I'm going to give him five to be ultra, ultra safe. So Yanni Quokinen will get five million because he deserves it. Damn. I was kind of hoping for, uh, I don't know, some kind of usable, uh, usable prospect. I think, oh wait, didn't I need it? Hold on. Did I need an AHL defenseman? I think I actually did to be safe. I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, just as like a depth piece, or then I could use one of these as a depth piece. So I'm going to go back, see if there's like a guy with a little bit of potential here as a defenseman. It could be low four as long as he's decent overall, and yeah, I don't know, maybe. Uh, there's, eh, 2374 isn't horrible. And I don't have to get him to a full three-year deal. Whoa there. Uh, we don't really need this guy, though. Oh, he's solid, though. Very, very solid, but yeah, we just absolutely don't need him because we have Salo and we have Juleson. I'm going to go with Rourke because he may actually turn into like a depth guy. 74-23, like, he's... This guy, the problem with this guy is he's definitely going to grow more. You can go for like Ball or Faravry. And Faravry may stay as a depth piece. Don't know how he'd fit in the schemes, but he's very well built. He's a DFD, which is a little less flexible. I kind of like to have a two-way D as a depth piece. Vero would be good for that, but... Alright, you know what? I'll, we can always do that later. We don't. We, we have Rathbone right now, and he's really solid. Let's go for O'Rourke here. Just for a year. Might as well max him out. There's no reason not to. So we'll grab it, Ryan O'Rourke for a year. See how he does, if he grows. And that's probably going to be our free agency. Just a couple death pieces. That's really all we need. We don't need any major roster spots. All right, we got Ryan Getzloff. Looks forward to making an impact. Feel like, <laughs> feel like he's still a player with that response. And Quokinen, O'Rourke, everyone signed. I think that was all the scouts and the coaches. Yes, indeed. No thanks. I'm trying to give us Pelic. <laughs> I can also check extensions once again. I don't think they change until the reset, though. And what I mean by the reset is, like, after you sim and, like, it starts a new season right now. It's, like, technically the off season. The schedule hasn't been set. It's, like, 13th of September or something like that. I'll check, but I doubt it's really changed. It has not. Yeah, I don't want to sign Gaucher to that amount. And, yeah, that still goes up too much. I'll check. Uh, where's my phone? Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't have my phone here. Yeah, fuck it. I'll find my phone as I'm uh, as I'm simming past because I'll I'll need that phone anyway. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna sim up. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so our lines are set for this coming season, and good god, are they stacked? <laughs> like ridiculously stacked. Uh, Pedersen, Marlowe, Clefbaum. Tabernacolo, Stamkos, Kozolov. Now, Stamkos did drop down to top nine, so we'll decline throughout this year. But the good news is he's got some stat growth to boost him up. And uh, we hope Arnett grows. Arnett did jump up a little bit, so this is his third line perfect. I had him playing in the middle because he's actually got decent faceoffs as opposed to Everly and, of course, Gaucher with shit faceoffs. Uh, we could always do something like this. Move him down, and like then you move Tabernacolo to the middle. 
And w if we did that... No, what? Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's... Okay, never mind. It's only... I thought we were going to be able to get plus two and plus two, but I must have been looking at something else. Anyway, we have options, essentially. <laughs> Why is the chemistry wrong? Yeah, we, we have essentially have options and stuff to uh, to get to. Um, if if and when Stamp Coast declines, if and when we want to make some changes. But these are going to be lines right now. Gaucher, Arnott, Eberle, third line. Hoaglander, Horvat, put Coles in fourth line. It's pretty dirty that, that this is your fourth line. I feel bad about it. But it is what it is. Guys getting pushed out here and there. They're going to have their extra time, so don't worry about that. Uh, defensively, Hughes, Benoit's gonna, we're gonna deal with the minus one. There simply wasn't another good enough coach with, that we could check for chemistry, so, gonna have to deal with a minus one right there, but Benoit's listed as top two, I'm not gonna play him lower. Gonna Kai Gorodov back in his spot in top four, hopefully he grows a bit more, he may not. Again, he was like a mid-first round pick, 21, 85, I, again, I just, I would just love for him to grow like an overall or two more. That's really it, but, we'll see if that pans out. In this, at this rate, I actually kinda do want someone else next to him like I, if he was like 86 87 having him win 83 is fine but at this i don't know anyway salo julson terrific uh six guys and of course demko lankin and scratches we got quokin and rathbone but let's uh let's uh continue on here power play stamkos marlow Pedersen, clefbaum hughes stacked and then kosolov horvat hoaglander you can see both of them in there then arnett and tabernacolo still gauche isn't present eberly isn't present but Everly's going to be, you know, leaving. So I want to get Horvat and Hoaglander some extra ice time anywhere I can. And, of course, you got to keep in Arna, Tabernacolo, and, you know, Kosolov. You know what? Let's get Kosolov on the point since he's a power forward. We'll have Arna down here. They're both lefties, but it kind of makes more sense to me to have both snipers up top. I don't know. Two way guy and a power forward on the back end. I don't know. Uh, quick look at the format. I didn't touch this. I'll just let it be as what it is. It looks okay to me. <laughs> kind of everyone in there that I want, so who cares? Penalty kill. Horvat Hoaglander. Kai Gorodov Benoit. Then Pedersen Gaucher. I put Gaucher in there because I had Marlowe in there. It's not a bad one, but I wanted, you know, got to give Gaucher some extra ice. Even though he has listed as third line. That's fine with me. And then Hughes Juleson. Not too bad. Uh, your penalty kill. Same defensive pairings here, and of course, Horvat, Pedersen. Four on fours. You're going to see all the defensive pairings being the same, but Pedersen, Clefbaum, then Marlo, Tabernacolo, Stamkos, Kosolov. I like it. Three on three, all the forward pairings are the same, then Hughes, Benoit, and Kai Gordov. Benoit's actually, he's actually, like, Dermot kind of has slightly better stats, but he doesn't really. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I doing? <laughs> Like if we if we saw if we saw like uh, Dermot like it's not really that much better. It's, it's he's got slightly better passing. I'm gonna get Benoit in there because who cares? So there we go. So Hughes, Benoit, Kai Gorinov. Extra attacker Pedersen Hughes as always shootout. I don't touch it, but this is what it is. Pedersen, Stamkos, Hughes, Everly, Clefbaum. Yeah, we already showed all that, and uh, yeah. What I could use is a depth forward. I do have a depth defenseman now, but now I'm lacking a depth forward, which is hilarious. In my age, all I'm talking about. So I may go ahead and do that. I've already got the scouts all assigned. Of course, Getzlaff is in there coaching. So I'm going to see about potentials here. Doesn't really have... No, actually, if I'm getting just a depth piece. What the hell? I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm just getting a depth piece. I could sit someone else and play this guy, but there's really no point, so I'm not going to even bother. Guess they all want two ways, huh? Straight out of camp. Alright. Swoop him up, have him be a depth piece for the AHL. Sit him a couple days forward. We got him. Uh, no? Did you reset my block game? You did. You did it. You did it. How dare you. Alright, get that out of here. And I want to make sure he's actually down in the AHL. He might be up. It is a two-way, but no, he's down. Good. 
And there we go. Perfect. Okay. So these are going to be our lines. There's something I could have done to have, yeah, plus two if I had Horvat on that third line, I know. It's just, again, growth is also still important. So that's what we're kind of looking at here. All right. I say we are about ready to do that hockey. Especially with the ice time allocation feels bad. Because <laughs> it's roll three lines instead of roll four. But hey. What can you do, I guess? Now we get to view contracts again. And another something that'll help us. You saw Demko drop back. Oh, fuck off, game. Really? Why? Why does he not want to come back? Oh, boy. Okay, that's slightly better for Clefbaum. I may just lock him in. He's 28-87. He's going to be playing force, uh, first line now. He may produce like a badass, so I think now's the time to kind of lock him in. Ugh. Wasn't exactly what I wanted, but you know what? He's going to be likely first liner, so 9.175. Hopefully he grows into that a bit. It's not the greatest, but I don't want to wait too much longer. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, I'll lock in Gaucher to this. This will be 4.6 for eight years, absolutely. <laughs> he may play second line, he may play third. Either way, it's this is a decent deal. Could even get, like, does it go, nah, it doesn't go too much further down. I'd rather get the term. So 4.6 for eight years for Gaucher, absolutely. That's why I waited. That's why I waited. And Demko, I'm not happy about this, and he's actually after a shit ton of money. Please change your mind, dude. Ugh. We got the cash. I could always do like a one-year deal right here and then hope he wants to extend it again at some point. But it's kind of expensive and he does. I have to wait till he says yes at this point, really. Stamkos and Everly are probably both departing. They're both actually down to top nine here. So, yeah. that's We knew it was going to happen. We gave him the extra year just to help us hit the cap floor and to carry us over to when our, well, at least some of our uh, entry levels will come up. Just Clef Bomb and Gauche. Fucking Demko. What's your, what the hell's your problem? All right, well, going to see what uh, Marlo and Benoit want next season. This could be interesting. Tabernacolo, too. Yeah, this could get very, very interesting. As well as Kosolov, huh? Yep. yep. Oglander. Oh, boy. I think Arnott, too. Yeah. <laughs> next year's going to be the big year. A big, a big year next season. All right, well. We're good to go. You guys have seen the lines. Go ahead and make your predictions now. And, yeah, let's officially do that hockey. All right. Let's go. Please sign. There we go. Cliff Bomb Gaucher locked in. And uh, preseason starts off very good. But, again, preseason's preseason. We all know the mantra. We'll have to see what happens now when the regular season kicks in. Pretty good start so far. Let the auto scout get to work a bit. Steven Stamkos has been injured. Sprained ankle. Rip. Throw Quokinen in there. Maintains a plus two. Sure. He was not out for too long. We'll just see how he does in there. We're still undefeated. <laughs> Killing it, man. Even without Stamkos, we're just crushing it. Good job, man. Four points at five games play for Quokinen. Hell yeah. Finally lost to Buffalo. Good year for rookies, he says. And lost to uh, Bruins. Lincoln in fully healed. Answered back with a couple dubs. Lost to Arizona. How dare you? But maybe they're actually good now. Uh-oh. Elias Pedersen now out. Pulled groin. Just kind of going to keep throwing Quoken in every... Oh, he doesn't have chemistry here? That sucks. We'll do that. Switch him with Tabernacolo for a little bit. Definitely came back down to earth a bit, but I guess to be expected. A lot of injuries so far. A 
Hopefully we stop uh, losing some games here. That's an AHLer. And 15-6-0. and We have a three-point lead on the division. So that's nice. Pretty decent start here. Could have been a bit better. We definitely slacked a bit. 3-2-4, two, 2-6-2. Two, two. I'd like to see a bit more goals for, maybe. Or a bit less goals against. I'd like to see that ratio better. Good power play. Penalty kill struggling, actually, out of the gate. We'll see if that can right, right itself or if we'll have to make a change there. Hopefully it can right the ship itself. But that's not a good start. We usually have much, much better. All right, so Pedersen, point per game. Clefbaum, 17. 17 for Marlowe. 13 for Stamkos, and 16. Looks like very spread out scoring, but we could definitely use a bit more. From here or there. Yeah. Oh, individual performance. He's not even bitching about ice time, so it's not the end of the world. Hughes is doing pretty good. Everyone on the defensive end is doing pretty good. Demko's doing okay. Lankinen's doing fine. Every yeah, everyone's kind of doing fine right now. We we started off so good, and then we've really slacked off since then. I'm hoping to see a bit more. Again, we may see a lot of spread out scoring, which could affect, you know, some things here or there. God damn it. I'm really hoping that Demko changes his mind at some point. We kind of really need that. Uh, I'm not going to make a change yet. 15-6-0 is fine, but yeah, we've kind of been slacking. We were so, like, like we started off so strong. We went, like, what, 7-0 and to start the season? For 8 Eight nine and zero, oh, and then so we went nine and zero, oh, and then we went two or yeah two and three, three and three, three and four, five four, five six. We went up six and six since then. Not great, not great. I could have mathed that <laughs> by doing the you know. Well, we went nine and zero, oh, and then I could have you know mathed the rest of it on my record, but hey. No one called me smart. So, yeah, not great. But let's go another month here before we uh, decide to make any changes or anything. We're going to get some scouting done in a few days. Dries is back. How'd Ty running do? Four goals in two games played. Okay. Ah! Another fucking loss here, boys. Let's go. We're just going to go straight for uh, target scouting. We're not going to be a lottery team by any means, so. Going straight for that. And look for the steals. This is pretty much as good as our scouting team's going to get. I'm not going to bother us getting any more scouts. We got, like, what? Everything's an A and A minus besides three Bs. I'm not going to bother. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you get A minus, it's only one tick above them, you know? There's no B pluses. That's weird, isn't it? Like, there's no pluses. There's only letter grade and letter grade with a minus. There's no pluses. Very odd. But I guess each bracket is, set, uh, like, done in twos instead of threes for... Ah, who knows, man. <laughs> really doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's only game. Plenty of interesting... Uh, Mediums here, but still pretty early. You'd be hard pressed to really, ugh, not a big gap. Don't like that. Have to see about these lows and where we get our first confirmed one to really see where it ends up. But 40 to 50 looks okay. Anything there, and then big gap. Now we get into the hundreds, which is also a good spot. It's just, there's a dead zone, like really, depending on what the kind of the draft is. Sometimes it'll be like 50 to like 90 something. Or almost 50 to 100 of like a dead zone where you're probably not going to find low elites. But then after 100, you have a chance again. It's generally how it goes. Then oftentimes in that dead zone of the low elites, you'll find medium elites. The more you know. I'm, I'm really... I'm, sometimes I'm very disappointed how much I fucking know about this game. Especially scouting and drafting. It's not like I've put time into... I don't know. I just... For some reason, I've, I've under, I understand it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to tell you... That I've worked hard at trying to do it. No, I just, I get it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just kind of, I spot patterns. That's what I do. Maybe that's why I am I found success in, in, in day trading. 
which is good because it's such an awesome way. You know how long I worked today? One hour. Made 250 bucks. Not the greatest day, but fuck. If you think about it, that's like over, if you do that every day, it's over 50 grand a year of working one hour. Fuck yeah, that, that's my life motto. Work as little as fucking possible so I have more time to enjoy the things that I like to do. <laughs> Alrighty. There we are. Looking pretty good. A lot of, lot of lows here, man. I'm just, I'm just clicking on them. If they're low, I'm clicking on them. I don't care if they're in a potential dead zone. I'd rather know. Here we go. Perhaps a nice medium there at the 100 mark. I like it. That guy's way too late and can't scout him anyway. That guy's a potential X factor. Maybe a top four. But definitely not going to be an elite back there. Unless he really jumps up the rankings. You never know, I guess, but... Oops. Okay. Running out of steam here with some of the prospects. Mm, Baelish. Alrighty. Yeah, this one here. This is like right on the edge. So we'll have to see what kind of draft it is. If that oh, if that guy turns out to be a, a low elite, this could be pretty top heavy. Or at least a deep draft. Nice. Ooh. Potential X Factor. I like Nikita Voinov. Noel, Greek last name. Not even gonna try to pronounce that shit. <laughs> Zolkas. That's my that's the clo that's as close as you're gonna get to it. He's it says he's Canadian and he's actually Greek. Sorry, game, you're wrong. Alrighty. You ain't about to the end of the line. How about any one ticks for the for the lottos? Nope. 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 Alright. There we go. First scouting taken care of. Couple wins to uh, hopefully get ourselves back into uh, good shape. Guillaume Breezeball. Fucking Abbotsford. Stop getting injured. Yeah. No! Fucking win! Stop doing this back and forth shit, dude. Holy crap, we've been awful since the beginning of the year. We've been absolutely awful. Come on, guys. Let's go. Win some games. String them together. No! Beat Anaheim. Fuck you guys. I, dude, I don't know what's going on here. We are really not doing good. 22, 13, and 0. Yeah, we got jumped by the Golden Knights by a large, large margin. I gotta check stats again, see what's going on, see what I'd need to take a look at. It's not good. That's not us. Yeah, goals four is not good enough, and now goals against is getting worse. That's a horrible ratio. We're way better than that. Power play's fine. Penalty kill's getting better, so it's trending in the right direction. Yeah, awful on the road. Wow. Five and five. Yeah, we're just a five. We just been a 500 team since we had a 9-0 and start. Not cool, man. Not cool. What's going on with the scoring here? Patterson, Marlowe, Stamkos, all look pretty good. Clef bomb not looking too good, like at all. Dude, you're playing first line minutes and this is what you're doing? Really? Kosolov, Hoagland, yeah. Oh man, Arnett. I mean, he's third line. Tabernacolo, though, is not. Tabernacolo, what? How do you only have 16 fucking points, dude? You only have, you have less than Hoaglander who's on the fourth line, man. Unacceptable. Everly, too. Holy shit, these guys are shit in the bed. Second, all right, I got to make some changes here. That second line's awful. Absolutely atrocious. Demko's fun. Our goaltending's awful now, too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Why is everything sucking right now? And this chemistry's bad. Their pluses, but only by a little bit. Yeah, coaching's got to gotta change here. Kosolov's not good either. Stamkos, man, I got to make some kind of move here. Ugh, I don't like any of it, though. It's almost like you gotta move Stamkos up. Then you have two snipers and a frickin' power forward.
Uh, ah. None of it looks good. None of it feels good. Okay, okay, what can I do? What can I do? It almost it almost would mean Marlo down. I don't want to do that because he's kicking ass. Clef Bomb is really slacking. Could do this. Have Kosolov up, Clef Bomb down, then you get plus five, plus five. Not that Kosolov's earned his way up there, but maybe we'll get some more shutdown too. A power forward and a two way forward there with Marlo, who's not bad defensively. Maybe this sparks this line. I don't know. I, we're just we're looking for something. We'll try this out. Power play's fine. Penalty kill's not great. Maybe I could change that since uh, Gaucher. I'm going to do what the computer suggested. Put Marlowe in here. We'll have him take the draws because I think he's better. Yeah, a little and slightly. Not by much. We'll try that. That's what the game was suggesting. What if I... Kind of wondering if it's too much chemistry. I know that sounds contradictory, but the game is stupid. I had Dermot in here last time, and that was a good PK. So let's do that instead of Juleson. We'll go Benoit, Dermot, Kai Gordov, Hughes. Try this out. Try this out. We need to make some changes. Hello, Leaf Blower. Hope you guys are enjoying that. I don't even know if you can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it. It's fucking loud. I got a little sing single pane windows. And since it's heating up again, I have to put my little uh, other AC unit like, into the window thing. So it's just like a little plastic strip that goes all the way up to the top. Not very noise canceling. Hopefully my neighbors don't hate me. For all the casting and yelling and music I play. <laughs> I haven't gotten a complaint yet. Anyway, those are going to be the, some, some of the changes we make here. Uh, we're going to check progress reports now as well. So we're hoping to see some growth. I don't know if we will. For, yeah, fortunately, Eberly Stamkos boosted up by... Uh, and actually not getting natural decline yet either. Well, Stamkos is a bit. Doesn't have as much stat growth either. But Eberly hasn't really, which is great. Yeah, no real growth at all. Cool. Um, Johnston has grown. Nice. Let's check out, so Engren, Johnston, Stokes hasn't really, neither has Korolev really. Old McDonald has, by holy fuck. Good God. Hello. Fourth rounder, huh? Already up to 60, 61 overall. Jeez, I'm really glad we lucked into him. I think, wasn't that the guy we almost missed? <laughs> he actually went a, a pick after he was projected. Okay. Now we gotta check on Demko. Fuck off. Not looking great, man. Not looking great. Bit of a rough patch here for Vancouver, but we've made some line changes. Let's see if this gives us any kind of a spark here. And uh, I may actually just... Well, I could stop it at any time. I'm still gonna sim towards the deadline here. Let's turn things around here. Come on. <laughs> Another loss. Eh, we get a point out of it, but definitely not as good as we can't could be right now. I know that. Hello. There we go. More of those. Fuck, man! We score a shit ton, but we allow a shit ton. How do you do that in losing reg? Let's go, guys. Time to turn things around. There we go. All right, scouting time again. All right, pushing on here. We're starting to string together some wins. I like it. Bayliss is out again. So, uh, Mr. Ronning gets to hop in. It looks like that defenseman's also are almost back. I'll just let him get fully healed. Just so it prompts me to jump in. So it's easy. Hi. What? Oh. Gotta love subbing all lines. Can we continue to win? Yes, we can. Good. Horvat, mild concussion. He'll be back in like two days because concussions are a joke, kids. No one cares. Especially the NHL. More wins for the most part. I think we just lost one there at the tail end of that month. 
Seven points in nine games played. Quoken is a beast. Bailey's is back. There we are. And we're going to go past the all-star break if we can. <laughs> Do that. I don't want that negative there. Holy crap, a lot of injuries here. Alright, where's that defense one coming back? Shouldn't he even been back by now? Hold on a sec. Maybe it was two, two of them, because, wait a sec, he should have been... Yeah, he's back. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Anyway, um... What just happened here? Was someone back? Arnett's back. Alright, Iron it. You haven't grown either. I'm a little worried. He may be one of those guys who kind of takes a long ass time to develop or maybe doesn't develop too much beyond his mid 80s. Hopefully, that's not the case because he, he came in almost NHL already, man. He's pretty fucking good. Nils Hoaglander, and that's a real concussion, I'm pretty sure. Alright, that's a lot of injuries here. Hopefully, we're done for a little bit because holy crap. I'm going to put Gaucher in here instead because that was a real one. I'm just going to hopefully remember to swap him back out. All right, we're simming here. It's not going to update our record. It's doing that weird thing. Just... Whoops. Okay. 43-17-2. We've definitely turned things around here. How would we do in that last little stretch? Yeah, pretty damn good. Yeah, pretty, pretty freaking solid. Hard to complain about how we've been doing in the last stretch after those changes have been made. So, yeah, I think we're absolutely going to leave those changes. We've been pretty much kicking ass. We're now back to where we want to be above 40 and sub 20. And we're first place in the NHL. So, can't really complain about that now, can you? I mean, I'll find something to complain about. Don't you worry, but... There we go. There we go. Okay. 356, 258. Love to see it. 21.7, 86.6, 9 shorties, 4. We're in good shape. We are in good shape. So, this is what the. Uh, what we're going to be rolling with here. So, Marlowe, 61 points and 62. Pedersen, 58 and 59. Stamkos, 55 and 57. Uh, 49 and 62 for Clefbaum. That's better. Arnett is 43 now. Tabernacolo, 39. Meh. That's just the big old meh. Kosolov with 38. Hoaglander, 34. Eberle, 30. <laughs> I mean, Eberle is third line with no power play time. So, to be fair, it's kind of okay. If he gets like 40 points, he's out of here anyway. Uh, Gaucher, not great. Obviously. What about put Colson? Hoaglander is doing actually pretty good, man. Defensively, yeah, he's not really doing a Norris caliber worthy season, but who cares? I'm more worried about shutting things down and having a good balanced attack. You know, personal trophies are secondary, man. It's all about good performances. Now he and Benoit are doing better. The big old plus minus discrepancy between Salo and Juleson. It's interesting. Better performance now from Demko and Lankinen. Both of them have three shutouts. Lankinen's even more impressive. He's got 21 points in 18 games played. Demko may still hit 40 wins. At least his numbers have improved a bit. That's what we're after. Okay. I got to check it again, man. This is, this is the time where I'm going to be checking it constantly. Please change your fucking mind. Please, Thatcher. Ah! Oh my gosh. May have to get him to like a one year and hope he changes his mind. May just be what we do at this point. I wasn't going to get him to anything super, super long term, but I'm not paying him no $9 million. And it's going to be more than that, you know? Like I'll pay him that for a year and then try to re-sign him again. But I'm going to wait as long as possible. Hope that at some point he changes his mind, but I'm not really holding out hope at this point. It's not looking good. I do really like Quokinen, so I'm going to lock him into an actual depth deal. Three years sounds fine. That's not too bad what he's after. Let's do... I like that. That could be really good if we get him locked into that. He's happy with the $5 million we gave him this year. Hopefully you invested it wisely. Uh, 
Okay, um, yeah. So now, we kind of look to what the hell do we do. Let's check some progress reports and stuff before we really delve into that. Oh, yeah. Some natural growth there from Cleft Bomb. Nothing for Close Love. Maybe, probably not. No, nothing for Marlowe. Nothing up there. And Stat. Stat minus. And nothing else. Okay. In the system here, old McDonald continuing to grow. <laughs> like a lot. Oh, baby. Charlie McDonald. He's also had... Dude, let's like... No, wait. Those aren't his X factors, are they? They actually... No. Wait, are they? I'll have to check. I don't remember him having those X factors. It's, could always be Line Johnston. Not bad growth, but he's still way behind the eight ball here. Vatna, not bad. Engren, not bad. We look at this. Stokes is still missing. Johnson's kicking ass. Korolev could use some more, but he is already at least kind of higher up. But, you know, being as early as we drafted him, we'd like to see more growth. Emmerich looking really good. Okay, so the... Uh, yeah, the X-Factors are one-off, right? Because that should be Korolev's X-Factors. Yeah. So I don't think Johnston has X-Factors. I don't know, man. It's 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 this game's awful. <laughs> Easy way to fucking check. Let's just go over here. Does Johnston have X factors? Wait, not not John. Old McDonald. He does not. There you go. He was a sniper anyway. Thought he was a two way. Why do you think he's a two way? I don't know. Anyway, um, who was that two way guy that we fucking got in the? Was that him? Wait, who was the two-way that we got? It was a top six. I know that. Emmerich, it must have been. Yeah. Yeah, Emmerich. He's got one little X factor. He hasn't been growing a whole heck of a lot. Anyway, uh, maybe he's, I think, a little. I, I forget now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Here at the deadline. Uh, I like the lines. They're working. The lines are working. The coaching could be different, but we couldn't address that this season and not really lose a lot, you know? Hoaglander's out right now for a pretty solid amount of time. I got to remember to uh, to put him back on this power play, too, instead of Gaucher. So, if someone can remind me to do that, it'd be great for when he comes back for an just put a comment right now as well. That'll help. Um, all right, let's... I don't think we're going to make any major trades. Speaking of, uh, hold on, let's check out where's Washington. Ah, yeah, they're up there. Damn. Not great point totals, but their division is shit. Damn it. They're, well, they would still have a wild card. Yeah. We have their pick this season, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I was like, eh, you never know. They, I mean, they had the potential to really fall off the, the I mean, look, the record's not great. They really had the potential to fall off a goddamn cliff, but they did have, you know, young Fitz here, who's great, but, yeah, they had so much vets, so many vets. I mean, look at, like, this team, like, this is a bad team this season. Like, it really is, but they're, they're succeeding, so, and they're in a shitty division, so they're likely making the playoffs, unfortunately. And they got Shogren. Yeah, Ovi's probably just caring. He's fucking 40. He's still 90 overall. And he's extended again. <laughs> Keep him going. Keep him fucking going, man. I'm not I'm not going to check his goal totals till he retires. I like to be surprised. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, eh, caps are hanging on up there. So, yeah, that pick's not going to be worth anything. Not that we needed it to. I was just, it was just you know, maybe, maybe a bonus uh, awesome pick there. Uh, yeah. Other than that, man. Need to try to get Demko signed. And that whole deal. I'll check, give you guys a look now at the, uh, draft class here. There's a franchise appearing. A DFD, maybe a two-way, don't know, and then a playmaker, and then goes into the top sixes. And he steals? Yeah, kinda. Trudeau? If you don't like the other, I mean, we might be able to get that with Washington's pick. He's, our, yeah, it's a little, 
Interesting. It'll take him a few years anyway, but again, we're looking for possible replacements for uh, Dermot. This is another one. We did get a low elite, but that's far from a guarantee that he really, really locks it in there, right? Here's a nice defenseman. What the fuck? Look at that big-ass discrepancy. Anyway, there's one low elite. No real steals there. Excuse me. How about defense? Nope. Just all the basics. All right, so not a ton yet, but that's an interesting uh, elite there in the first round. One that we should definitely be able to obtain. A goaltender there for some trade value. Yeah, I like it. And uh, we're leading the NHL by four points over the Avs and five over VGK. So we're in, overall in very, very good shape. And Jagger Marlowe's kicking ass. You love to see it. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm liking it. <laughs> overall, I'm liking it. Started off good. We've ended good. We had that awkward point in the middle, but we made some changes, and I really like the way the Lions are performing now. I don't think we touch a thing. So you guys, let me know what you think. Hit that like button, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next one.